I realized that there was something wrong with me and the way, you know, my moods would change like, drastically. And, and 36-year-old Wally Guerrero finds her mood swings are out of control at least once every month. The changes seem to happen near the time of her menstrual cycle. So for help, she turned to the UNC Center for Women's Mood Disorders. It was there she was diagnosed with premenstrual dysphoric disorder, or PMDD, also known as severe PMS. So it is not all in their heads. And going home and trying to reduce their stress and take a Midol is not going to help these women. Dr. Susan Girdler is a UNC professor of psychiatry and works with the Premenstrual Dysphoric Disorder Studies Program. She says women like Wally are not uncommon. And what makes it so frustrating for these women is I think that much of the medical community still does not appreciate this as being a true disorder. And our Girdler and her team of researchers are into the second of a five-year National Institutes of Mental Health study one that explores the link between PMDD and a history of physical or sexual abuse. Dr. Girdler says a biological alteration seems to occur among these women. PMDD women with an abuse history have much greater blood pressure responses to stress, much greater heart rate responses to stress. They show a different stress hormone profile when we bring them into the laboratory and simulate uh, psychological stressors. According with some numbers, and those numbers would be from one to nine. Mm -hmm. Wally, who has PMDD but no physical or sexual abuse history, is being compared with women who do. And like her, they come to the lab where their responses to stress are tested. And so in this study, we are setting out to understand the biological disturbances associated with women with PMDD, but particularly those who have an abuse history. Girdler says these women tend to have more headaches and more severe premenstrual emotional symptoms. They're also more likely to have greater pain sensitivity later in life. And by understanding the link between a woman's response to stress, her heightened pain sensitivity, and emotional and bodily symptoms, doctors may one day offer more effective treatments tailored to women with PMDD. I'm Stephanie Creighton reporting.